All right, hey everybody, it's Bob McGray here, and I have an updated video for my top five city apps, and today I have my top 10 city apps. And some of these apps are from my previous video, some have been updated, and some are completely new. So, let's get started. My first app is Insidia, and I didn't want to open Insidia while the video was going, because you know how long it can take. So, my first app is called Cytolite. And what that does is it allows you to delete uh, city apps from the page where all your apps are instead of going into Cydia. So normally, what you would do to delete an app is you would hit modify and then hit remove. But with site delete, you can just go to your, your app that you want to delete and just like any other app, you'd hold one down, and then the apps will start to jiggle. Now, the ones with the red X's are from Cydia, and normally, you wouldn't be able to delete those, and you wouldn't see the X. However, with Cytalee, it lets you. So, that's a really cool app. Um, next up, I have Backgrounder, and Backgrounder basically lets you run apps in the background. So you may not understand what this is or what it does but I'll give you an example let's say you wanted to watch a music video but you didn't really want to watch it, you just wanted to hear the music Backgrounder lets you hear the audio but not the visual and how to enable it is pretty easy you can choose from these three options I have the home button so all I have to do is hold down the home button for two seconds and then I have a little message that says backgrounding enabled and then it exits out of the app. So that's backgrounder. It's pretty cool. Um, my next app is um, one for YouTube. It's called YourTube and it lets you download videos and you can see what I've been searching recently. Um, but let's say I like a video and I want to download it. Normally in YouTube you don't have this option but you can see at the top right of my screen, I have this little bin with an arrow pointing to it. And that'll let me download it in either high quality or low quality. And it's pretty fast. It's like MXTube, but um, I like the interface of YouTube more. And YouTube doesn't crash. So that's why I'm leaning toward um, YouTube and YourTube right now. So, next app is iProtect. This is like um, Lockdown from my other video and it just lets you um, put a password or a passcode over your apps that you don't want any other people to see. So um, you're thinking why not get Lockdown? Why get this app? Well it's got some pretty cool features and I'll just show you one. At the bottom there's Disable Search Result and what that does is, in version 3 of the iPhone, um, Apple has, um, I'll just show you, it has the search bar. And you can search for apps with the search bar. Now, if you locked it down with Lockdown, you will be able to search it and enter without entering the passcode. But with iProtect, it disables the search result and it doesn't show the app when you search for it. So that's basically what it is. Um, it has some other cool ones that Lockdown has as well, but I like iProtect more now. Alright, uh, next app is Installus. Installus has come a long way from what it used to be and uh, I'm just putting it in my video because it's such an important app. And if you're watching my previ previous video, you won't notice the changes unless you watch this video. Now, um, instead of using Appulus, um, Installus has App Tracker now. And it's a lot faster, the interface is so much better, and I really appreciate it. So, uh, and for any of you that don't know what Installus does, basically it lets you download any app from the App Store for free. It, and this includes paid apps 
and it's great. Everyone uses it, and if you jailbreak, this is probably the one reason anyone would jailbreak. So, um, next app is Screen Splitter, and I can't open it, but uh, basically what it does is it lets you show your iPod on your computer screen. So as you can see right now, I'm flicking through, it's and I'll show you. I'll show you that you can flick through. This is the real time, and on the computer screen is um, the app. And there's a bit of lag, but it's a lot higher quality than showing just this. So, um, yeah, and to run the app, you need a program for your computer called Demo God, and I'll put a link for that in the description. All right. Next up, I have Winterboard. Now, Winterboard is pretty cool. It lets you basically customize your iPod or iPhone to be whatever you want. And there are so many themes, it's it's just amazing. So you can you can do basically anything you want. You can change the background of your iPod. You can change the lock screen. You can change the fonts. You can change anything that you want. So it's your iPod is completely yours. My next app is GPS Phone and basically it emulates uh, Game Boy Advance games onto your iPod or iPod or sorry iPod Touch or iPhone and unfortunately it doesn't really work with Demo God but uh, I'll show you through the webcam how it works. So basically, you'll have your interface like this. Oh, looks like it is working a bit. Okay, but it's just a, it's a bit slow. But just to show you that it's actually not that bad in terms of speed. And I'm just showing it, starting a new game right now, but um, yeah, the quality is pretty good. Unfortunately, it takes up a lot of battery, but if you're a real Game Boy freak, then I'd recommend it, and it's a lot of fun. So, finally, my last app is SB Settings. And for those of you that don't know what it is, it's basically an app that allows you to do anything that you can from your settings, but from your status bar. Now, if you don't understand what that means, basically, you can access Bluetooth, brightness, um, Wi-Fi, other stuff like that. And it has all the options. It has more. Um, you'll see it has this little gear right here. And there's more options, which is pretty cool. And it's so easy to access. You just swipe your finger across the status bar just like this. Pops down. And it's easy to change something, just as an example. Brightness. You won't see it on the computer, but through the webcam you'll see it. brightness is going down and up. I'll just put it in the middle there. Oh, didn't want to change that. But yeah, it's a it's a pretty simple app. You can download um, a lot of apps for SB settings that allow you to change other stuff. And yeah, that's about it. Um, just as a side note, though, three of the apps. Um, your tube, iProtect, and GPS phone have to be downloaded um, through a cracked version, which is kind of ironic because Cydia is basically a cracked app store, pretty much. Um, but yeah, you have to pay for your tube, iProtect, and GPS phone, but there are cracked versions, and I'll um, post a link to those and those sources. So, this is Bomba Gray, and I'll see you next time.